Hey, you want to buy some crack? Well, that's too bad. All the crack is mine. My crack. My crack. And we're gonna need every last rock of it because today I've decided that we're gonna be using the slowest possible builds on our LMGs to get them polyatomic. And shout out to Nikita for that suggestion. And to get them polyatomic, we need to get 25 headshots for all six of the LMGs. And I said we're trying to go with the slowest LMGs here, so I try to make a build that's kind of balanced between slow ADS speed and slow movement speed. And also I tuned all these to have all like recoil steadiness and like damage range opposed to like aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. I went through like all the tunings and made sure I had them as slow as I as possible. I also made the optic tuning as far away as possible for the eye position and up the flinch resistance instead of the aim down sight speed. And that's for all of these. So let me go ahead and show you my builds. Uh, this is the Sakin Pause MG38. This is the HCR56. This is my 556 Icarus. This is my Rawl MG, Rail MG, whatever. This is my RPK. And this is my Rap H. Now we got quite a bit of headshots to get today. So let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done. All right, here we are on shipment. I decided to go with Core today. Uh, there is tier one shipment out right now, but I feel like I'm trying to give myself a challenge here and not drive myself insane using slow ass LMGs in tier one. Well, let's see the movement speed on these. Already very, very slow. And the ADS speed takes forever. Okay. We might just have to ADS and then stay ADS. Look at the aim walking speed too. This is going to take like a few business weeks to even get done. What about the jump and aim? Oh, that's ridiculous. I could file my taxes faster. I might just have to like mount up somewhere. That'd be boring. I'm going to try to just ADS walk around the whole map. I want to see if I can even get down to one side of it. So let's try to walk down the middle here. Nobody's going to touch me. Hey, we got our first headshot. Sick. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if we can make it all the way through mid. And I have like 100 bullets here, so I can just kind of spray. Okay, cruise missile, that's not fair. What if uh, we use some of the, the rage powder? A little bit of crack in the inhaler. Okay, nope, still not working. Now this actually feels like what an LMG should feel like. Just being heavy as shit and slow as shit. But I tell you what, it does not work great with the low TTK in this game. I feel like the second I go to ADS, I'm dead. I might as well just start hip firing. Even though this hip fire accuracy probably isn't too crazy, I say as I get a, a headshot. I swear, I, I constantly jinx myself. There's, there's no way around it. For better, for worse. Whatever comes out of my mouth is the opposite of what happens. The one thing that's going to be slower than moving or aiming down sight with this thing is going to be reloading. Hold on, actually, let me see if I can reload. I shot a few bullets. I'm just going to lay down right here and see how long this takes. So far, a few seconds have came off the clock. And we're done. If I had to do that in like any other situation, I'd probably be dead. And with there being like no reload cancel in this game, I'm kind of screwed if I even accidentally hit it. Okay, speaking of reloading, I'm gonna have to do it right here. Might as well uh, defend the hard point. Okay, never mind. Dying is faster than reloading. Forget switching to your secondary. Oh, this is fucking tough. I'm thinking I might as well just disable my sprint key. Maybe this is how I break my, my sprinting habit. I have a really bad habit with cob reloading and sprinting, and this is the perfect gun to not do either. And I don't know where all the movement speed and the ADS speed's going, because this thing hardly does any damage either. It seems like this is hit marker city. Jeez, I'm already pre-firing. I'm way pre-firing this guy. He still hops out and kills me. That's fucked up. We got out of that game with 28 kills, and I think maybe a quarter of those. We're headshots. And what's our headshot count looking like after one game? 12. All right. Halfway there. Not the worst, not the best. Right in between. Now, normally with challenges like this, we can sort of develop a strategy or I start to think of one with uh, like within our first game. This is game two and I have no idea what to do besides just shoot. It's just pre-aim and shoot like crazy and it still is not working. Okay, but we got a headshot there. Maybe another one. Repeat. Thank you. That wasn't a headshot, but it was a kill. Still very gracious. I missed her ejaculation. Nice. I really wish this game would just let me have my butt clan tag. We got people named Ejaculation. This clan tag's come. It's a little it's a little different than a normal come. It's a it's a C-O-M or C-0-M. But come on. Let me let me use butt as a clan tag. It's not even a bad word. It's only just a butt. Everybody has one. Ooh! Give me the head shots. Give me the head. Give me head right now. What? Oh. That seemed a lot crazier on my screen, but it looked really melodramatic on his. Probably not using that word right, but whatever, dude. I play COD. What do you want from me? What the fuck? I'm spraying head level, and you can just walk right into it. Peeker's advantage is crazy in this game. Now, I know people out there say that there's like skill-based or like SBMM-based uh, hit reg. 
I think that's way too crazy, way above COD's pay grade for shit they'd add into a game. I don't think they go that above and beyond just to piss off most of their, like, fan base. I mean, they do do a few. I said doo-doo, that's poop. They do have some decisions that piss off the fans, and I feel like they do it, you know, to either gain something out of it. Like, they'll take away the solid color camos to make the, like, CDL camos look more appealing or something like that. Like, when they're taking something away, they're usually getting something out of it. And skill-based hit reg or skill-based damage is just so fucking stupid. It makes everything so inconsistent across the board. It hurts, like, creators that do, I don't know, like, weapon loadout things, showing, like, this can do this much damage, this kills in this many plates. Like, it completely fucks up all data. For what? Like, Lil' Timmy with, like, four fingers can shit on you because your skill-based hit reg is higher than his? That don't make any sense. Y'all hitting the juice too much. Ooh, speaking of hitting the juice, get fucked. You can't hide from me. I can wall bang right through this. Maybe that's one good thing about having this slow ass LMG. I can finally hit those wall bangs everybody hits on me. Okay, don't see me. I have to reload. Fuck you. All right, we got a few headshots to start out and now I've gotten like none. Okay, I just had to talk about it. There we go. We got to be getting pretty close now. We were at like 12 coming into it, about halfway. We started off and got like six right off the bat. So if my math's correct, we need 14 more. There's a headshot. Oh, we're done. No, wait. That's our mastery challenge. Fuck. Now we might be done. Maybe. If we're lucky. We're not lucky. Is that it, though? It is. Sick. On to our next one. My, our HCR. I need somebody to kill me, though. Oh, wait, no. It already switched out. Don't kill me. Nobody kill me. Nobody touch me. The movement speed with this seems pretty normal, though. I feel like this is the less heavy, like, LMG. This is, like, the AUG LMG. The ADS speed, though, is ridiculous. Holy fuck. I could birth the child, raise it, and then that that my child could have a child. And then I'd be done ADSing. I don't want kids. I'm putting that out there, commentator's curse, in case you're hearing me. I don't want no kids. I hardly take care of myself. I guess while I'm uh, grinding out these headshots... Oh, this seems a lot easier with this. Since all my points are into accuracy, I'm kind of fucking beaming. But since I'm, I'm, I'm dredging my way through these headshots... Uh, quick little update. My computer has not shut itself down or, or power cycled since I, I did that thing last video, which is pretty cool. Because the whole issue is my computer, I see some people like saying like, oh, it's probably just COD. It's not just COD. It'll, it'll just shut down randomly doing nothing. Like under absolutely no load, no overheating. I switched power outlets. I think the whole thing was like some sort of BIOS update I had. I even manually updated my BIOS, by the way, for people that were asking about that. So I do have the latest BIOS drivers or whatever. But there's something in there where my CPU would, when like idling, like maybe in between games or while I'm not playing or something, like it would go from like a high load. So the voltage is like steady at something. And they would go to, uh, oh, nothing's happening. Let's lower the voltage real quick. It's like power saver mode or something. I don't think that's exactly what it's called, but that's like my interpretation of it. And for whatever reason, it would just drop down to a voltage below what it needed. And then my computer would just shut off and then power cycle and start right back up. So I don't know what's going on. I switched out my motherboard. I switched out my power supply. Right now, it seems to be working fine. I'm knocking on wood. Hopefully it continues that way so I can get back to like actually streaming and stuff. I haven't really been able to stream because of the whole computer just randomly shutting down things. Usually not good for a stream. Especially YouTube streams but you can't just like end stream and fire one back up because then it'll just completely take you out of like the algorithm. Because like streams kind of count as uploads on YouTube. It's weird. It's a whole process. But hopefully we can get back to that soon. And my computer doesn't have any more problems. I'm talking right to it. All right, they went ahead and threw me in a game in progress where we're getting killed by one free PP touch. I think I just got my free one. I don't want to pay for the rest. But back to the topic of streaming. Uh, I think when we do end up streaming again, since I don't have any like more weapon levels to grind, unless like new weapons come out, because that was mainly the thing that we streamed. Uh, I think I'm going to stream like a decent bit of the mastery grind. Like you saw earlier us get one of the mastery camos or the mastery challenges done for our, what was it? The Icarus? No, the Sacken. The Sacken's the first one. Pause. Sack. Ball sack. But basically, it's like getting like X amount of kills for each like camo. And I think I'll probably end up doing like gold and platinum mastery for like each of the weapons on a class. Maybe not all in one stream, but we'll get the gold and the platinums done as long as we're not getting them done while we're, you know, working towards polyatomic here. And then I'll save like the the last mastery, like going for the Orion mastery on the weapons for like a video. But that's only after we get polyatomic before then. I think I might stream some DMZ because I haven't played too much of that. And that seems more like a streaming game. 
maybe some Warzone too. Even though those games are kind of risky with like Prox Chat. Prox Chat's like the best part of it. But also there's people that feel like edgy and shock humor is hilarious. So they just hop in and throw slurs and then that can really affect the channel. So I don't really want to fuck around with that. But in the meantime, before I get Orion, I think I might stream on Twitch. Uh, grinding out like the the ranked ladder in Pokemon if you guys would be interested in that So I've been doing a lot of uh, double battles on there. I finally hit master ball rank, which is like the top rank I think I'm ranked like 46,000. I don't know if that's like out of the world or out of like my region or something But I don't think it's like anything too crazy I I'm pretty sure everybody that like plays the ranked Pokemon after a bit is in master rank anyways so it's not like hitting like global elite and cs or radiant and valorant or something like that i don't know the fast valorant's top rank maybe valorant is their top rank that would make more sense i don't know i, I just play cod but i've been having a lot of fun doing that i think i might do some shiny hunts too which is kind of like camo grinding and just in pokemon where you kind of do the same thing over and over again until there's something that's a different color and it's been a long time since i streamed on twitch anyways it it'll be fun to get back over there don't know when exactly. I'm kind of aiming for like New Year's Day, maybe like after the Lions game. So if you guys ain't got shit going on New Year's Day and you want to perhaps watch some Pokemon, let me know. Also, no promises will be exactly on that day, but around that day is when I'll start trying to get back into the routine of streaming because I, I hate making like promises or saying like dates and stuff and then not being able to keep it because there's just been so much instability over here with my computer fucking up and me getting sick. And then there's a whole nother issue I forgot to talk about before with like my Wi-Fi going out entirely. We had to get a new modem. It's just been nothing but nonstop chaos. So if all goes well, around that time, we'll, we'll, we'll try to stream. Oh, there we go. We already got the HDR done. HDR was easy. Oh. Let me get one more for the road. Now does somebody want to kill me so I can switch weapons? Anyone? Let me just get these two guys laying on the ground. Thank you. And now we're on to our Icarus. So our movement speed? Still not really bad with this. Our aim down the sight movement speed is pretty bad. And our ADS speed is kind of in the middle between our last two LMGs. Like it's still slow, but not as slow as the HCR was. And maybe a little bit faster than what our Sacken was. But hopefully this still has like the recoil control of our HCR. Because that was crazy. It was beaming. Come on. How are these not headshots? I'm shooting people where literally only their head is peeking, and I'm still somehow not getting headshots. What are these guys like Big Ed? They're all neck? Oh, wait. Does he have a neck? I, I think I, I might have him confused. Either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, what the fuck? I demand head shots. There we go. Just had to demand it. You gotta be assertive. And now I gotta reload. Now I'm gonna be submissive. Don't, don't kill me. Haha, uh -huh. I'm so cute. Don't kill me. Haha. Uh -huh. Shows belly. Oh, we got a VTOL? Fuck it. We have five seconds left in this game. Let's call it in. Oh, get to Oh, I tried to get to the hard point to save the game and it moved. Damn. Uh, after all the time I spent on it too, and out of the little that we used the Icarus at the end of that game, how many headshots do we have? Seven. That's awful. But with the mastery challenges I was talking about, you need to get 100 kills with gold, 200 with platinum, 300 with poly. Oh, and then 400 with Orion. So maybe we can do all the way from poly and then I'll just do the Orion for the video. That way we got more content to stream, more stuff to do. I really hope they add in another camo like Obsidian sometime soon. Just don't have it look like Obsidian though. I hated how Obsidian looked. It looked like a default weapon. Make it at least like, oh shit, that guy's got blank camo. Instead of like, is that obsidian? And then you pull out like your monocle. You're like, oh, nope, that's just a default gun. Because it'd be fun to have another grind to go for once I'm done with Orion and like the mastery. Oh yeah, also back when we were like getting towards polyatomic, like I'm going to unlock it. I was asking you guys if we should just do like a few guns a video or the whole class. We initially settled on like two or three guns per class, but I don't know. This is a kind of easy challenge and it kind of like runs through within like a game or two. So I've just kind of been doing the whole class. But I think once we get to like the SMGs and the ARs where they both have like eight and like 10 weapons in the class, I'm probably going to split them up into two parts because that's just a lot to do in one night, you know, like it may only be like 25 headshots for each gun, but you get into drought some games where you're not really getting too much. Sometimes you're getting shitted on. Maybe by the time we get to the ARs and the SMG shipment won't even be here. So we're gonna have to be playing on fucking like the hotel map trying to go for headshots, which is going to take even longer. So for those classes that have like, you know, a crazy amount of weapons. We're probably gonna split them up a bit, just so you guys are aware. And I'm starting to think maybe I should save like a class for the last. Like maybe I should save the snipers for last for when we go for Orion. 
That way it's more fun. Because I don't want to have like the battle rifles be my last class, you know? Because those those weapons are boring. They're so like forgettable. But a sniper, that's a pretty fun way to get like Orion. And it's not like the easiest thing to get headshots for a sniper either. Like you got to be like dumb accurate with those. You don't get like a whole lot of attempts. There's only like one semi-auto one which is not my favorite sniper. And I feel like there's a lot more opportunity to have like a cooler final kill to unlock Orion, you know? But maybe ARs would be better, maybe SMGs. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and I was talking about it for a while, saying that my computer hasn't just randomly shut down and there we go. That's the first one in a minute, cool. Well, I'm starting to think maybe just my processor is failing. Also, we have 18 out of 25 headshots here. Not bad, almost done with this. But I replaced everything on my computer thinking that it wouldn't be my processor and I think it's my processor. So if I replace my processor and it's still messed up, then it's just cursed. We just need a few more headshots. Let's knock this out and so we can move on to our next LMG. And before my computer decides to shut itself off again. Come on, it was being such a good boy. Why did I have to do that? What? How many shots to the mouth can you take? What? I'm so confused on how that doesn't kill. A shot to your head should either completely maim you or kill you. There, there has been some recoveries, some miraculous feats by doctors, and just people being like champions surviving it. But this is fucking Call of Duty. You get shot in the nose, fuck off. And I think we got our challenge done. So the Icarus can fuck off. We're onto the RAL. The RAL movement speed also doesn't seem too crazy bad. ADS speed though. Pretty fucking slow. What's our uh, recoil control looking like? It looks like it just shoots in a straight line. We like to see that. Ooh, and there's our first headshot with it. Hopefully there's many more to come. Yes, there is. Why am I spawning on top of somebody's fucking suppression mine? What is this? Can they do that? Are people getting so good at spawn trapping on this map that they're pre-placing suppression mines? Okay, my computer just shut off again. Oh, this is frustrating. You're telling me my computer crashed with one headshot left on the Icarus? I could have swore I got that done. Did my computer power cycling really just get rid of that? That's kind of messed up because I already started working on the RAL. Do I even have any for the RAL anymore? Okay, I have five. So what's the deal, COD? Stop playing with me. Now I got to fight COD in my computer. Neither are going to stop me. I'm getting polyatomic for all these LMGs. You can try your best. You can stop me at any corner you want. You can attempt to. But you're not going to do it. All right. Enough fucking around, computer. Let's get this one headshot. Or not. Come on. Let me be done with this. Let me move on. Let me get on with my life. Fuck you. There it is. All right. Switch into the rail now. Now I'm pissed. Everybody's getting fucked up. Including me. Okay. After everything that's happened, now I can't get a headshot. It seems like no matter where I shoot, even if it's right between their eyes... It's still just going to be a normal kill. Like right there. I'm shooting him only in the head. Maybe I might have hit his shoulder a little bit. Boo hoo. Give me a headshot. Thank you. And how is every gun out TTKing a fucking LMG? Isn't that supposed to be like really high caliber? Where are my JROTC kids at? They always correct me when I say like clip instead of magazine. Now I need some actual help. Get the fuck out of the way. Grape soda. Ass soda. Yeah, don't melee me. Pick a better flavor. I'll have to carbonate my cum. You have some cream soda. Little bitch. Trying to melee at me. You don't know what I've gone through today. Every gun is out TTKing this. I don't even have to like peek for more than a second to die. Yet this shit takes 14 hit markers to kill. No wonder just a few boats won D-Day. The fucking guns they were using suck ass. And before you say it, we were like, well, Joe, actually there was this, this, and that uh, in Normandy. Shut up. I don't care. Open your mouth. Balls in it. There you go. Thank you. I'm very irate right now. Give me head. Give me head. Give me head. Oh, okay. Made it through a whole game without crashing. Don't do it. Stop. Knock on wood. Hard. Okay. Icarus is done. Again. The Ral need nine more. Not bad. And then we just have two more LMGs after that. All right, fuckers. And take some cock. Oh, get the fuck out of the way. I don't got time for people spawn blocking me today. I really don't. Might have to switch to tier one so I can kill some teammates. Ooh, lick balls and toes. Ooh, nice little double head and we're done. On to the next one. Bring me the RPK. So the movement speed on this still pretty decent. I, I try my best to, to nerf the movement speed. Still looks like it's pretty all right. ADS speed, very slow. Spray pattern, doesn't really seem to be one. 
kind of just goes in a straight line. Just how I like it. Oh, fuck you and your last stand, you little shit. Let's do a little bit of crack to calm the nerves. There we go. Man, I love crack. Let's get these fuckers done with. I'm very fed up right now. Ooh, eat dick. You know what? I haven't even thrown a throwing knife today. Oh, there goes with the one. The one and only. Oh, wait, no, I picked up another one. Who's getting it? I guess me. I, I just need this for me. Come on. No? Okay, I'm pushing it. It's gotta be natural. You can't force the throwing knife. I'm gonna get my headshots in, because they think I'm going for throwing knives. Let's go. That's easy polyatomic. Now we're under our last gun. And go for this throwing knife. Fuck. I'm rusty. This is our wrap H. Movement speed's basically the same. I think the slowest movement speed was our first one. The ADS speed is also... It's slow, but it's not awful. The wrap H is like the most forgettable. LMG to me. It doesn't really look too much like a LMG. It doesn't feel too much like a LMG. But it shoots pretty fast. I'll give it that. Oh, we got one of the higher fire rates of the LMGs. There we go. Come on. Just a few more headshots. Just a few more. I don't need a lot. I can get it done this game and I'll be out of your hair. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that one, though. Off a little crack. Ooh. Crack is the juice. Crack is the way. Crack is the meaning of life. Oh, there we go. We're all done with our LMGs. That was our last headshot. Let me get a throwing knife. Once I get a throwing knife, I can leave this game. There we go. I'm out. Later. Goodbye. Now that that's over with, let me make sure that we have it on all of our LMGs. There's plat or poly on the wrap H. There it is on the RPK, the rail, the Icarus, the HCR. And the sacking, ball sacking. Now let's go ahead, hop in game and see what they look like there. All right, let's take a quick peek at these. This is our sacking, our ball sacking. Pretty nice, polyatomic, beautiful camo. And we're six steps closer to Orion today, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one is the HCR. Very nice, just looks like an AUG. Here's our Icarus. Anytime I hear the word Icarus, I think of Icarus Fell, like the CSGO skin for the M4A1S. And I think of Kid Icarus, which, uh, fuck you, Pit. Pit, you're a little bitch. This is our rail, our, our rail, whatever. Don't care. Uh, this kind of reminds me of General Rom or, or Ram from Gears of War. Also completely irrelevant, but yeah. Here's our RPK. I got nothing for this one. Pretty standard. Kind of just like a, a gun, you know? And the Rap H. It's here, I guess. Looks pretty cool though. I'll give it that. Yep, there you have it. Uh, our LMGs are done. We are just a little closer to Orion now. We still have a decent amount to do, but I'm pretty pissed off. So I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support on the videos. Uh, it truly means the most. I'm going to go fuck myself. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.